Uh, yeah, hey guys, I'm um, back here with another video and again in this video we're going to be looking at how we can maximize and quickly get that 4.0 multiplier up there so then you can maximize getting those points. So again, um, it's early stages. Um, usually for me, I don't really care too much so I just throw my best team in there and basically just hit autoplay. Um, I'm usually, uh, you know, watching TV or watching some some YouTube while this occurs because, again, I'm that confident. Um, again, with the 1.0 multipliers, the teams are fairly, fairly easy. Um, one thing you should note is um, you will need four wins in each of the respective areas for you to progress on to a higher multiplier. So, again, uh, second mode here is going on and taking place. And, again, I don't really care too much. I'm just going to hit autoplay again. Um, the first team, usually, um, they really appear to be weaker than the other three modes. So again, like you said, like I said before, you need to win four times to progress to the next multiplier. But usually with the first one or two, um, fairly easy. It's the third and the fourth teams um, that become a little more difficult. And uh, specifically, the fourth one is the one that usually um, has a higher uh, percentage of um, more difficult play, uh, players for you to be uh, up against, and that's where it's kind of hard. Um, I did find a trick. I don't know if other YouTubers have mentioned this as well, but again, um, I'll show you guys the trick in this video for you to kind of progress easily into the next uh, zone. So again, just quickly finishing off the battle here. Um, yeah, so in comparison, I also found that, um, that uh, specifically, um, if you're waiting to refresh, I mean, you can obviously uh, wait till your characters refresh, but I'm doing this uh, in pretty much in one shot in the video here. And uh, it's just pretty, it's pretty straightforward. Um, other players have also kind of racked up and kept their blitz uh, recharges um, prior to the event. So if you know there's an upcoming uh, specific event like Carnage, uh, Mantis, um, any of those specific rates that you're eyeing down on, then yeah, just kind of keep your blitz uh, recharges uh, up at the 500 range and keep it kind of near the max, and that way you can maximize. So right here, I'm throwing in a weaker group. Um, again, as I mentioned earlier before, um, it's easier for me uh, to lower the bracket and bring down my lower players. So I keep a lower set of characters. Um, that way it takes down the uh, fourth battle pretty easy. Same with the third level ones um the third and the fourth seem to be the most difficult the first two aren't two shabs so again i'm gonna do one more low um let's see here let's see what am i gonna um this is the next set here so now we're at the 2.0 multipliers um and uh yeah same thing i'm just gonna hit repeat because again i'm not too worried and um obviously right now as you can already tell if you have a large ample supply of characters um this isn't gonna be too hard for you to rack up that multiplier it's only when you're starting out and you have a limited set um that's where it becomes a little more difficult for you to rack up that multiplier you're gonna have to either reuse the recharges that you've been stocking up or you're gonna have to wait for that two hour limit and again for the sake of this video um i'm gonna quickly uh, let's see here. Yeah, next set. And again, I don't. I really don't care what I'm doing, uh, what what characters I'm throwing in there. Because again, 2.0, um, still relatively fresh in the blitz mode. And again, it's relatively easy to kind of just progress through it. Um, I'm not even trying. I'm just hitting the autoplay again. Usually, um, part of my routine uh, with blitz. I mean, it's it's so effortless for me. I just hit auto all the time. So I love the mechanics for that. Um, Marvel Strike Force is great in that point where you can decide if you want to um, if you want to you can definitely play but like I said for the sake of this video and for the sake of time I don't want to be um, playing and slowing the video down so I'm just gonna hit autoplay and pretty much until we get up to the 3.0 multipliers and then then I'll probably slow it down a bit here um, so again um, we're getting down again here and I'm just progressing downwards uh, let's see yeah um, same thing still and and i mean definitely scroll scroll around and see if there's any easier groups as you play blitz you're going to realize there's certain synergies that are going to work better um uh, guardians of the galaxy uh the shield um teams uh the uh defenders um those are some of the tougher ones to de defeat especially if they're uh, out leveling your characters so again just keep an eye out for that and again um, as i said before uh we're pretty fresh right now so again we're at that third stage i'm going to quickly jump down to my lower characters um other reason 
that I have lower level characters too is, and if you've seen my other videos, is um, keeping them low is great for the milestones. You can quickly level them up um, if you have an apple supply of gold. And again, in my previous video, um, I preach about stocking up gold and that way you can utilize those milestones and kind of basically get those um, free power cores uh, essentially if you're a free-to-pay player if, if you like to drop money in the game then I mean uh, you know then you don't have that limitation as I do but again I don't want to put money into the game so again we're just gonna go with the next battle here um, another tip I should mention too is just keeping an eye on your blitz if you close the game before you lose the fight um, your multiplier will stay intact. So again, that's uh, something that I realized uh, through trial and error. Um, just one day I was playing the game uh, with my speakers on and then the game crashed. And then all of a sudden I relaunched it and I realized, holy crap, uh, my multiplier is still, um, you know, same uh, stage of battles and I didn't lose the streak. So there you go. So again, um, still really easy because we're, uh, we're still on the two two three range multipliers so again i'm just gonna check with characters uh let's pick those yeah and again um yeah it's it's pretty easy to climb initially um they did revamp it a bit uh before earlier in the game they had 1.0 multipliers and then 1.5 and then 1. Uh, 1.75 or something like that i forget but but again, they did amp it up a bit, and now you can progressively hit the 2 multiplier, and then 2.5, and then 3.1, and, and 3.5, 3 3.65, or whichever. But again, um, so yeah, like, like you guys can see, I have an Apple Supply of characters. So this, is, this really isn't too much of a big deal for me. And yeah, we're just going to keep playing here pretty much um, and yeah you'll see you'll see that I I don't hit the 4.0 right away but again um, if you can kind of spread the day out if you can't do this on one sitting that's fine um, what I do is I usually do it in a two settings so usually this initial batch I can get them up to uh, pretty much almost a 3.4 3.5 um, and then and then the next batch you can basically bring that up all the way to the 4.0 and that's without using a single um, Blitz recharge and that's just with time um, But again, yeah, I'm gonna turn some music up here pretty soon here because yeah, it's a uh, you know could use some background noise <laughs> um, Yeah, so again, it's pretty easy. I'm just fast-forward playing it and it's you know, it's not too shabs um, again we're gonna let's see what we got left here uh, yeah so again I'm using my lower level characters now because that's pretty much all I have left and again I'm just selectively seeing which ones count to five so as you can see we're already at 3.1 so it does rack up quite fast um, some people also uh, another tip too is um, they stick around the three to three point um, 3.5 range um, that way the fights are still semi doable and they can use high level characters without uh, having to lose because again if you're playing at that 4.0 multiplier um, the chance of you losing is significantly higher than if you stick around at the 3 range and obviously um, if you're losing the 4.0s consistently you're not getting any points right so so zero points versus if you're sticking at around the 3 3 to 5 range you're still getting something rather than nothing. So again, that's kind of where you'll have to um, decide if that's what you want to do. But again, my strategy, um, I don't seem to have an issue with the 4.0 multipliers. So um, as long as you have uh, pretty, um, pretty leveled up teams and they're pretty geared, um, they shouldn't be an issue. But again, that will differ depending on uh, the type of player and how long you've been playing. And for me, I've been playing pretty much since launch, but I haven't put a single uh, dime into the game, so I'm happy for that. But again, that will depend um, on who you are as a player as well. Um, so again, um, check out my other video for tips and tricks, um, basically uh, allowing you to progress through the game. I go through um, gold management because obviously gold is such a, a valuable resource in this game. And then just maximizing blitz, which we're trying to do right now in this video, trying to get that multiplier up. Um, again, um, you want to maximize those rewards. Blitz mode, if you can do it all and get the 700, 800,000, 700, 750 or something, 
um, you, you can unlock all the rewards and it's basically free character shards, right? That might go towards Ultimus or it can go towards, uh, you know, other character shards, like depending on who the, the featured character is. So Carnage, Mantis, um, Korath, um, Cap, um, Black Widow, you name it, right? So again, uh, let's see here. So still on autoplay because again, pretty straightforward. Um, and again, this is pretty much routine for me. Um, once you once you do blitz enough, you'll know you'll be comfortable um, with your low level characters. And I don't know why the lower ones don't really have an issue with the higher um, rankings. Um, they just they just excel for some odd reason. Um, I think it's because of the character level differentials. Um, that's why I think uh, it's so much harder for the higher geared up characters to you can just a hot hit auto click right and auto play. But again, uh, let's see. Yeah. So now, yeah, now we're at 3.4 here. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna start playing now. So let's see. Perfect. All right, let's kick some butt. All right, so I'm picking out a team. So again, 3.4 multiplier. It's not bad. Again, we're gonna power him up. And again, um, Modu is awesome. You can stun and you can block the heal. So that's exactly the type of play you want. Um, you can unlock him right now too. Um, uh, it's free to play. So just building up your uh, your arena points your uh, credits and then you can max them out that way it doesn't take long as long as you stay consistent and as long as you're a daily player it's not an issue at all so again we're just gonna tick that out and Jack is building up that's okay we pretty much have a pretty set team here all right perfect so just for the sake of this video um i'm gonna I'm gonna use my shards up here, um, but normally in a typical situation, um, I would save my recharges until I'm at the 4.0 mark. But for this video, I'm just gonna refresh, recharge, and show you guys how easy it can be to get it up to 4.0 um, without um, uh, basically in one sitting, if you will. Um, so you don't have to wait around in case you are time restricted and you can only play. Um, for example, a specific morning or an afternoon or even in the evening and you have to work or something like that, then at least you can get that 4.0 multiplier and you don't have to worry about it for the rest of the day. Alright, so that's easy. Gonna take them out. And again, um, our Cap, uh, uh, Yondu, and, uh, and Drax all easily attainable characters the only one here that isn't is black widow and unfortunately she used to be when the game first launched but now they've removed her so the only way you can get her now is either getting it through the store credits or when there's an event or if they decide to um, launch her on a blitz mode or something and you can also get it from a random premium orb as well and obviously those other ways but but i mean that's just random luck right so um but yeah um let's see we're gonna block on and again these defender teams are fairly fairly annoying to play up against so that's why i usually switch um i usually use a hawkeye and a mordu team because again the double blind really helps especially against punisher um he hits like a rock especially since the patch so um and then again stunning is great because then they can't hit you and especially with how annoying luke is he can defend and basically shield up the entire team and see i'm gonna lose right there so i hate those teams so i'm gonna switch out and again like i said um, i'm glad that happened so i can quickly show you guys um the streak still remains despite losing um and again it's not perfect strategy but again uh, you are gonna come into hiccups so i'm uh, gonna see if... so another annoying team the guardians um just trying to decide if we should yeah let's uh yeah let's try again i don't want to use um, any of the cost tens right now because i want to maximize my blitz recharges just for the sake of the multipliers so again you want to maximize the amount you can get so let's try this out and see how we do uh, okay so See, take out Drax there, and then we're gonna take out Groot. 
again. Luke Cage is great because he can bring up defense for your whole team. And I think I'm going to get my ass kicked on this one too, you guys. Oh. So, there you go. There you go. I'm going to have to close it again here. Yeah, so swipe, swipe. Close and click. All right. Okay. Okay, let's see if their time's a charm. Um, yeah, I wasn't uh, I wasn't expecting that, actually. I was going to win that one. But again, um, you're going to notice that it's just down there. So we're going to try to bring it all together. We're gonna see, so I'm glad this happened. And now I can show you guys. Um, when you get into a predicament where you lose more than once or twice, um, just switch it to it. Switch it to a lower character. Uh, can switch it to lower character, but I'm being stubborn right now. I'm trying to decide. Not decide what I should do. I think we're gonna try a completely different setup here. I just want to see if he can charge it. And I usually, I usually don't get my ass kicked around this part, but, but, um, yeah, we're gonna see what happens here. We're gonna try a different strategy. Alright. Do your thing. Alright, we're gonna take out, uh, Crossbone, since he hits like a rock with the explosion. Hopefully he's not bad, and then, alright, perfect. Okay. So, that's how we do it. And now we're just gonna switch out to a lower set team because again, we're gonna be that difficult to party. Um, usually you can get it into the fourth battle, but just for insurance right now, I just wanna make sure I don't lose again. So, yeah. And Venom's great too, so when the event does come up, um, make sure you guys grab him. Um, we've got the Alpha Raids for him right now. Um, so it's a great time to jump in the game, and again, um, don't want to miss out on, on an opportunity like that right now because again uh, Marvel Strike Force stays very consistent with when characters are released so again when the Venom movie came out they released him so, um, so again we raised the multiplier now we're going to go back to some, uh, some higher hitting teams because again um, we want to maximize um, some points and obviously for the sake of this video um, I don't really care about the points as much once we get it up to 4.0 it won't matter but just for just for this purpose, I want to show you guys how easy it can be to get it up to 4.0. Uh, having good luck with this team, so I'm enjoying this. I'm going to have to save this team and reset this here. Um, fun thing with Blitz is you can always experiment and try around and see what works. And for me, I'm always messing around and seeing what's going on. And it's a fun aspect of the game where I do enjoy that. Alright, easy peasy. Perfect. Okay. So another big team, and I'm just gonna pick a, a blue team there. So you can always throw around so the teams are easier, because again, you wanna make sure, for me, I don't care as much as the points, as much as the multipliers getting getting streaked on, so so that's the way I'm going with this game right now. Uh, let's see, Probably through there. Yeah, all right, so get that covered up. All right, perfect. Okay, and we're gonna take a little bit there. Alright. Easy. Easy. Alright. Perfect. Okay, so now we've got two left. I'm just thinking what I should do. Should I, yeah, I'm gonna pull the crowd over to me. That way we can grass through this faster. Alright. Perfect. So there, there you guys have it. Um, you'll never know with the lower teams I, uh, which ones you come across because again it depends who you level up. But again, I'm enjoying, um, I'm enjoying experimenting right now and seeing what's out there. So that's exactly, um, you know, it's part of the game. You're gonna learn more about the tricks and skills of every player if you try them out. So, um, particularly, it seems like to me. Um, the Hydra, they all hit like a rock, so it's awesome in the lower levels. Um, especially the snipers. Um, again, I need to level up Venom, but I've kept him low because he, he's such a tank, even at low levels, he's so beast. Yeah. Alright, so, do that. Alright, we 
And then we're just gonna take that guy off. There you go. There you have it. There it is. Now we're pretty much in the final set here. Alright, let's see. Let's see what we can do. I like, I love Loki. I love this set because with the Ant-Man and Loki. Um, and then Wasp, oh my gosh, they just make synergy so well together because of the fact that one slows, one stuns, and then Loki just makes everyone vanish or makes them hit each other. Oh, it's just awesome. So, so right now I'm kind of keeping them all together around the same ballpark, so I always use the five, five of them, to, or not the five, but the three of them together. Uh, and you'll see what I mean here. And yeah. So that's... Squishy, so that's easy. And all rings pretty much off. Alright, so we're gonna see the stun up. There you have it. Easy. So that's just something I found out. Those three are uniquely powerful together because once one can slow them all and they all have AoE and then you got Loki vanishing and they can make them clones of themselves, so it just really makes makes the whole team synergy well, even though they don't have collective bonuses with each other. But I'm definitely going to level these guys up together and put them together when I'm messing around with my teams up at the higher end here. Okay. Alright. Oh, that Wolverine is a bugger. Oh! Damn. Okay, well, we're, gonna, we're just gonna take out that boat. He's squishy. Alright. And specifically, you noticed already, like the Mutants, uh, Wolverine, and Deadpool, they go pretty well together, too, so. So there you guys have it. Alright. Do I dare try? Okay, let's try it. Let's see how far we can get with this team. I feel I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good about this one. Feeling good. All right, block him. Then let's see. Do I want to block? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I do like I do like the hand saucer. He's he's nice. Um, he really bulks him up with the defense and then also the heals as well. So I've been kind of keeping him in the mix with the three of them as well. Yeah, let's take a look at more. She's squishy. Alright, so Wolverine stuns. Okay, we're gonna just take him out. Since he can one hit us. And Spider Man squishy. And goodbye, Daredevil. So you guys have it. So now I'm feeling really good about this team. Uh, I'm not gonna push my luck though. I'm gonna go with my, my crappy. Um, yeah, they cost 10, so that's why I'm switching it out. Perfect. So last but not least, we're gonna finish it off here. And it shouldn't be much of an issue. I've never had any issues when I'm using lower level characters. Um, oh, I think I might just jinx myself there. I did hit pretty hard. Yeah, guess we'll see. I always hate Luke Cage. Oh, so annoying. I, I hate that character. But he's so good when he's on my team as well. So I'm going to switch off. Yeah, like I said, I jinxed myself when I said I thought I had this. Hmm. Okay. So as you guys can see, closing the game out really does help because again, um, it helps keep your streak alive, and that's a lot. That's something that people don't realize that if you just close your game before it ends. Um, you can maintain that streak, and then you can progress through the 4.0. So let's see. And again, I'm picking my aims and I just because again they hit like a rock. And these guys will take them out like nothing. Although. I'll probably just jinx myself again, so I'm not going to say anything. Alright, so let's see how this goes. So, they've got a pretty random team, so I'm not too worried. Uh, Alright, let's take out that guy since he does damage. Alright. Defense down. Make sure we do some taunts too when we get a chance. Yeah. Let's see. 
Again, relatively easy. Oh, just the defense ups. Again, we can do way more output and we're faster than those two guys. So I'm not too worried right now. Oh, I forgot about that move. <laughs> Alright, same thing. Take those out. Just one shot them. Get a chance. Yeah, here we go. I'm not too worried. And again, shoot him down. And then he should be pretty squishy since his defense is revealed. Pow. Alright. So there you guys have it. So that's the 4.0 right there. And again, like I said, um, I wasn't going for points, but as you can see, I've used up about 375 of my uh, uh, refreshes as well. So that was in one sitting. So usually, um, if, you, if you're patient and you can wait for two hours, you can usually get it done by the second batch. Um, but again, I'm just gonna quickly refresh because again, uh, uh, I have enough of it and I can use it and that's why I've been saving it and again uh, it's not a problem for me because I need to use the challenges anyway so I'm going to quickly eat that up right here and obviously the raid refreshes nice as well for healing up characters on your raids alright so now uh, yeah I'm just gonna go through my Objectives and again just want to reiterate the fact that you can get more raid refreshes as well or um, blitz refreshes as well um, If I refresh it, they'll bring me pretty much right now to the top. So again um, You know, I try to time it that way so that way you can refresh and stay on top of plus 400 So then if there is a new raid or sorry a new blitz that pops up and you guys are aiming for it then at least um, It's not gonna be an issue. So again um, completing both the uh, the orb assaults and the red stars um, that's that's ideal for all the free rewards you want because again you can claim it all and I'll just claim it and show you guys see it's just free right so that's that's it's, you're passing up free rewards um, especially if you're free to play you want to maximize those opportunities um, I will say that the red star one has a different uh, method because it is only up to four um, the players have to be ranked at least four stars so it is a little bit more difficult in that aspect since you have to get them up to four stars but still not doable or uh, still not impossible um i'll make another video and show you guys how i get the 4.0 multiplier on that it's pretty much the same format again um you just want to make sure you're keeping an eye on the um the uh the number of battles and when you're going in and again it takes four battles to hit up to the next multiplier but again you want to make sure that the first two you know throw anything in there and it's fine it's it'll usually work itself out even if you hit autoplay at least from what i've seen and um and then by the third or fourth battle that's when you want to throw in your 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 smaller weaker hitting teams because again there's that level disparity and for some reason they the lower level characters just do so much better than the higher level ones so yeah i'll leave you guys with that um again if you have any questions or comments uh please feel free to um, you know, if you, please feel free to comment on the video underneath there. And again, um, I appreciate you guys taking the time uh, watching this long ass video. So uh, yeah, please, uh, yeah, please like and subscribe. And you guys have yourselves a wonderful day.